Growing pains. Why the title Growing Pains? Um, growing Pains. Okay, with this project, I wanted to um, discuss and highlight the consequences of not going into a relationship the right way and um, how that can then affect us as Christians, as young Christians, how it has an effect, both a positive and a negative effect on our walk. I think so many times we kind of run headfirst into relationships um, and not fully understand what we're getting ourselves into. So then we get ourselves into a lot of mess, a lot of hardship, yeah. unnecessary heartache. Yeah. And we bear the brunt of it. And it's like, ah, yeah. things that could have been avoided, uh, mistakes we didn't really have to make, um, but we've made. But then with this project, I wanted to say, okay, cool. Mistakes have been made or, you know, okay, cool. How now can I learn from this? Yeah. How now can I share my experiences and, you know, not just me personally, but whoever may be going through one situation or another, how can they share what they've been through with someone else yeah. so that they don't have to go through the same kind of mess? Yes. Um, and just kind of show the importance of accountability and um, just how the Lord is at work within us, even in the midst of what we see as, you know, hardship and detriment. Okay. So we've had the Overnight Garden Volume 1, and now this is Volume mm. 2. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? The difference between Volume 1 and Volume 2. All right. With Volume 1, I wanted to show the, the negative effects of being impatient. Like, with Volume 1, the whole concept was, okay, cool. You're running, you're running, you're running. I want to do this now, 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 now. Mm. And then you're like, oh, wait one second. This didn't work out. Oh, poo, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it, it, it doesn't work yeah. out the way we want it to work out. Whereas with volume two, um, I wanted to show the consequences of um, not doing things the right way. A lot of the time, especially when it comes to this issue of relationships, what we do is that we kind of do what we want to do, not taking it before the Lord and saying, okay, cool, God, is this what you want for me? We do what we want to do. And then when it doesn't work out, we're like, oh, but Lord, you weren't, what happened? Like, I thought you were going to see me through this one when it's kind of just like, we just, we just did what we wanted to do. Exactly. So I just wanted to show, you know, the negative effects of that. But then also, um, scripture talks about, you know, our sanctification coming through suffering. So it's like, even though this is not, it may not be working out the way we think or we would want it to work out, it shows that the Lord is still working on us and working in us. And it's like, all right, cool. He's refining us through all the hardships, all the fire, all the trials and trials relations so that in the long term we are conformed to his image and the relationship that we're pursuing um, God willing when it comes into fruition becomes into the image of Christ which is our long-term goal yeah exactly so what's the message that you're trying to convey so when people hear this mm. this project mm. what is it that you want them to understand what is it that you want them to get from this project um, I want for me personally, the reason why I wrote this is because I wanted to be able to have a deeper understanding of trusting God completely, wholeheartedly, and truly understanding what it means to believe in a sovereign God. I think mm. we, we it's so nice and easy for us to kind of start screaming and shouting about the Lord when things are going well. But, you know, like Job, Job lost everything. And it was even through him losing everything, he was then still to say, you know what, God is still God. He is still who he is. So I wanted to kind of show that, like, even in our lowest of lows, even in the most difficult of times, God is still God. God is still sovereign. Mm -hmm. um, and we just need to develop a greater level of trust for him and in him so that even though things don't go the way we want it to go, we understand that God is still in control and he's going to put back together that which we've broken. Hmm. Okay, so like I said, we had volume one. So this is volume two. Can we expect volume three? Um, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs>